In this video, we will show you how to recognize anaphylaxis and how to tell the difference between anaphylaxis and an immunization stress-related response so you are able to respond appropriately. An immunization stress-related response may look a lot like a severe allergic reaction, but it is not life-threatening. Anaphylaxis, however, is life-threatening, though it is very rare. Anaphylaxis should be immediately treated with adrenaline. To tell the difference between a stress-related response and anaphylaxis, observe when the signs and symptoms occur and what the signs and symptoms are. Then take action. First, notice when the signs and symptoms occur. Anaphylaxis usually happens 5 to 60 minutes after vaccination. But a stress-related response usually occurs before or during immunization or less than 5 minutes afterward. The response may be prompted by pain, fear, prolonged standing, being in a crowded environment or the sight of a needle. Some level of anxiety before or during immunization is considered normal at any age. It is also possible for a stress-related response to occur later than five minutes after vaccination. If the recipient was seated during vaccination, then stands up quickly. If an event does occur, have the person lie down on their side while you quickly examine the person. What signs do you observe? Does the person have swelling on their body or itchy skin with a rash or hives, signs of anaphylaxis? Or is their skin pale, sweaty and clammy, a sign of a stress-related response? Is their breathing noisy? Are they having difficulty breathing? Do they have a persistent cough? These are all signs of anaphylaxis. In contrast, a person having a stress-related response may have fast, deep breathing or shortness of breath. Check the person's blood pressure, pulse and respiratory rate. During anaphylaxis, heart rate will be elevated and blood pressure will drop. This may also be a sign of a stress-related response, though not necessarily. Are they agitated or have they lost consciousness? Someone experiencing anaphylaxis will show these signs and show little response when lying down. Someone experiencing a stress-related response may feel dizzy or see spots or may even have a momentary loss of consciousness. But they will respond well once they are lying down. Once you have assessed the signs and suspect anaphylaxis, treat the person immediately with adrenaline. If you have any doubt about whether it is a stress-related response or anaphylaxis, treat it as anaphylaxis. You should now know how to recognize anaphylaxis and how to tell the difference between anaphylaxis and an immunization stress-related response so you are able to respond appropriately.